Alright guys, it has been three weeks since we last looked at the promotion and relegation odds in the championship and since we last looked into them there has been quite a bit of movement both at the top and bottom of the championship table. So what we're going to do for today's video is we're going to be looking into the latest bookies odds and I've gone ahead and totted up how many changes there's actually been since we last looked into the odds. As always I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments down below, do leave your thoughts down there as well as I'd like if you do go to enjoy the video, but without any further ado, let's jump in. So we have a new team at the bottom bottom of the championship compared to three weeks ago the bookies have dropped Rotherham down to 24th place based on the current relegation odds in the championship when we previously did this video Rotherham ranked 23rd in the championship so still in the bottom three but despite adding a few players since we last did a video about this they have actually sacked a bottom of the championship going off the bookies odds right now and moving up from the bottom of the table we do have Plymouth Argyle who have bumped up one place in the bookies odds going into next season when we previously looked into this they were bottom of the table the bookies now have them in 23rd to be honest i'm a lot more positive i think on plymouth's chances heading into next season based on these last few weeks of activity in the transfer window obviously we've seen more teams starting to make some moves i think that plymouth's recruitment so far has been pretty savvy and sensible i'd like to see what else they've got up their sleeve for the remainder of the window but by far and away the biggest mover at the bottom of the championship the bookies have cardiff who have dropped down four places since we last did the video around this subject now the bookies have them in the bottom three as one of the three sides most likely to go down next season based on the current relegation odds when we previously did this video there was a fair gap between cardiff and the relegation zone but clearly there's been a bit of a rethink there the first team that we have staying exactly where they were three weeks ago in the bookies odds we have huddersfield town still 21st in the overall championship table so the bookies still think that huddersfield will survive this season but just about not much really has really changed on that front definitely think we can say there's a lot more positivity around Birmingham right now than there was three weeks ago with the transfer business that they've done so far and a few of the deals which in the end have gone quite under the radar really how quickly and swiftly they seem to move in for Ethan Laird Miyoshi who I'm really excited about next season in the championship as well when we last looked into the relegation odds Birmingham were in the bottom three but they've since ju jumped up to 20th in the the table. Sheffield Wednesday have had quite a big fall though dropping by four places the same as Cardiff. Now to be honest I was a little bit surprised just how high up Sheffield Wednesday actually were when we last looked into the championship odds for next season. The bookies had them all the way up in 15th place. Quite a lot has changed at Hillsborough since we last did these videos. Obviously Darren Moore's no longer there. They brought in Zisco Munoz. On the transfer front it's all been a little bit quiet though and so the bookies have dropped them down by four places. And due to some of the movement below them, QPR have actually been bumped up in the table by two places, now up to 18th in the championship right now. So still an interesting situation at QPR with Ainsworth. Obviously, we have had quite a few departures um, out of that club already. I expect a few more will go through before the end of the window as well. But a little bit of a bump in their survival odds since we last spoke about QPR. Not much has really changed with my side. Preston, the bookies still have us placed for a 17th place to finish come the end of the season. Not changed whatsoever. I am expecting this week to be quite busy from North End from a transfer point of view. Hopefully, some done deals will go through this week and that may be bad bounces up us up the table a little bit and the same for Hull City no changes in terms of the bookmakers odds for them they're also placed in 16th place which is exactly where they were three weeks ago we have seen a little bit of activity at Hull since we last did one of these videos especially interested to see how Liam Delap gets on there while on loan at Hull ne next season after some difficult times last season I thought really with Preston and Stoke but definitely still a player in there one of the big movers up the table has been Bristol City I have to admit I was quite surprised at how low the bookies had Bristol City when we did this video three weeks ago but they have rectified that since and Bristol City have shot up four places in the table still a comfortable mid-table finish for them 15th right now is where the bookies have them placed but we have seen quite a bit of activity transfer wise coming in and out of Ashton Gate recently and I'm sure we'll see plenty more of that over these next few weeks as the future of Alex Scott is still up in the air. I actually think from a transfer front Millwall have done quite well in these last few weeks obviously got that deal for Kevin Nisbet over the line, Joe Bryan's come into the club as well but despite all that they've actually fallen one place in the overall bookmakers odds. Now this is a consequence of a few other sides moving up above them maybe more so 
so than Millwall themselves dropping down. But Millwall, last time we did this video, were 13th. They've now moved down to 14th in the table. Another fall we've had as well is Blackburn Rovers. Quite similar to Millwall. I've actually liked the look of Blackburn's recruitment recently. Saw a clip of them in pre-season as well. It was a fabulous team goal they scored. I'm quite looking forward to seeing what John Dahl Thomason can come up with with that Blackburn squad next season. But based on the bookies odds from three weeks ago, they've actually fallen two places in the table. I think because of all the transfer activity around Coventry at the moment, I was expecting a slight drop off in their fortunes, obviously with Jokeres, um, you know, set for that exit. Gus Hamer, his future currently up in the air, a few clubs now starting to really sniff around him. They did get that deal over the line for Ellis Sims, which I think is massive from their point of view, but the bookies have dropped them by three places in the table based off what we saw last time when we looked into this three weeks ago. In the past three weeks, Swansea have signed Josh Key and Josh Ginelli, and they've also obviously announced Michael Duff as their new manager, and all those factors combined have been enough to bump them up three places in the bookies table based on the current promotion odds. Swansea now in the top half of the table going off those odds right now, up to 11th in the table as things stand. Sunderland have had a slight bump up in their fortunes as well. They're up to 10th right now on the bookies odds. Last time we looked into this, they were bang in the middle of the table in 12th place, but we've seen Sunderland splashing a little bit of money since that video, and the bookies currently has them challenging for the playoffs, but set to miss out. Found this one quite interesting, the joint biggest faller from the bookies odds. We actually have Watford who have dropped down to 9th in the championship. They were occupying a place in the top six when we looked into these bookmakers odds three weeks ago, but a few of the sides in and around this region of the table have since overtook them. With West Brom, there's still a lot of uncertainty Certainty around that club right now and as a consequence they have dropped by one place. Thought their drop off might have been a little bit more dramatic but the bookie still fancies them to be in and around the top six. Just has them fallen short but once again a tough read to make right now because of the ownership issue. We've seen a bit of a flurry of activity at Stoke in terms of incomings over these past few days and the bookies clearly are liking what they're seeing right now. They've pushed them up to seventh in the table and I take that with a bit of a pinch of salt because I think the bookies always have has quite favourable odds for Stoke being in and around the promotion push and it's never quite happened for them I think you know consistently whenever we've done these videos at the start of the season Stoke would always be in the top 10 without fail really regardless of how sort of the previous season had gone the bookies are fancy and Alex Neil to work some magic but just fall short on the top six in terms of Norwich there has been no movement whatsoever the bookies still fancy in them for a sixth placed finish. Norwich got quite a bit of their business done early doors but we have seen them do a couple of deals over this three week period since we last made the video and the bookie still fancies them to hold on to that place in the top six. But the biggest overall riser we have in this championship table based on the bookies odds is Ipswich Town who have climbed five places since we last did the video around this. Absolutely huge jump from them who are now having better promotion odds than their local rivals Norwich which is absolutely crazy. Ipswich's overall promotion odds did take quite the bump up when they got that Jack Taylor deal over the line. I think that that shows a strategy of intent this summer and if they continue to add to their squad in a similar fashion, spend a bit more money, I'm sure that those promotion odds will continue to ramp up really but I mean we said it last time but for a newly promoted club to be this high up in the bookies odds right now is absolutely mind blowing. For the remainder of the teams in the top four it's pretty much all the same though. The bookies still have has Middlesbrough to be the best performing of the sides that were in the championship last season. Michael Carrick obviously was averaging a points per game of pretty much an automatic promotion side and the bookies does fancy them to be really quite strong once again. A flurry of activity that we've seen at the Riverside over these past few days in terms of incomings. Middlesbrough really have got the ball rolling now and I am expecting some more business to be done over these next few weeks. Third place the bookies still sticking with Southampton obviously Russ Martin in there now been a little bit quiet on the transfer front obviously quite a lot of talk about outgoings at Southampton at the moment the Lavia saga which I'm sure will rumble on for a while but Southampton definitely have the makeup of a strong championship outfit this season and if they add to it with the right players under Martin you can definitely see them being there or thereabouts. In second place we have Leeds United it's exactly where they were three weeks ago and we have had a little bit more clarity out of Leeds over these last three weeks obviously they have announced Daniel Farker as their new manager I'm quite excited to see how that all goes really and the ball started to get rolling in terms of transfer activity we've seen a few departures on loan I'm sure that's going to ramp up a little bit in terms of incomings as well now they do have Farker in 
coming through the door. And no real surprises for this one. Of course, it's still Leicester who are fancied for the title in the championship. We've seen quite a bit of activity since we last made a video. Two big deals have gone through at Leicester. Three if you include the James Madison uh, deal departing to Spurs, but signing both Connor Cody and Harry Winks, two players with a bundle of Premier League experience between them. It's no wonder that they're being tipped as the overall favorite to win the league right now. Not much has changed on that front over these past three weeks. There we have it though guys, that is what the bookies are currently thinking ahead of next season, how some of those odds have gone ahead and changed since we last checked in. If you did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.